Hey, I think you should stop doing Pilates. Huh? But I thought doing Pilates is good for me. My Pilates instructor say, the more I do Pilates, the more, the easier I'm going to achieve my goals. But the goal that you want to achieve is not achievable by doing Pilates. Maybe we should ask Coach Jojo to talk about this. Hello everyone, I am Coach Jojo, IFBB Pro. I am a Pilates instructor, personal trainer and a nutrition coach. Previously, I did a video about the benefits of Pilates and why you should be doing Pilates. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'm going to put a link up here and also a link down below so that you can watch it later. But today we're going to talk about why Pilates might not be good for you, might not be suitable for you, all right? So, but before I'm going to talk about today's topic, I need you to help me click the subscribe button and the like button as well as the notification button right now. If your goal is to try to build strength, Pilates might not be the best option for you. Yes, Pilates does help you to build strength because it is a resistance training, especially when you're using uh, the Pilates equipment, right? But unfortunately, building strength is not the focus of Pilates because Pilates cares a lot about the stability and understanding on how to use a certain groups of muscles to help you to perform that particular movement. So building strength has never been the major focus in Pilates. Let me give you an example. One of the machines that we use in Pilates is called reformer machine. I'll put a picture here so you can see what does a Pilates machine look like. So a lot of the movement on the Pilates machine requires you to balance yourself because the machine is moving. The carriage of the reformer machine is moving while you are pulling the straps. Okay, therefore, when you are on the reformer machine, your focus number one is to balance yourself. And how do you balance yourself is actually to engage the core muscles so that you are able to find your stability, you are able to find your center so that you do not fall. So imagine you are on a platform that is not stable and you're trying to lift a weight, you will never be able to lift a heavy weight because your main focus is not to fall, right? So therefore, I want to tell you is, in Pilates, it is not easy to build strength if you compare it to lifting weights in the gym, all right? So if you're looking to build strength, let me tell you once again, it's not the best choice for you. The next thing I'm going to talk about is building muscles. A lot of people want to build muscle and they thought that by doing Pilates will help them to build muscle since it's a resistant training, right? But unfortunately, that again is not the best option for you. If you want to build muscles, you really need to go to the gym and lift some heavy weights. Like I mentioned just now before, you can't build strength when you are doing Pilates. I mean, you can build, but not a lot, right? And because of that, therefore you cannot gain muscles. Because if you want to gain muscles, you need to lift heavy, heavy weights. You need to challenge your muscles. So if anybody telling you that they, can, they are able to gain muscles when they are doing Pilates, they are either a beginner or they are lying. A lot of people want to do Pilates because they want to get six pack. Yes, you see a lot of all these Pilates instructor or Pilates influencer, they always have very nice six pack or very nice abdominal muscles. But unfortunately, the truth is you will not be able to build a six pack just by doing Pilates. Why? Number one, when you want to get a six pack, 
the most important thing is to lower your body fat percentage. It's not about do how much abdominal exercises you do. Okay, you need to lose the body fat means you need to take care of your diet. You need to go into a strict diet to be able to allow your body to do so. All right, so that is number one. The second thing is in Pilates, the major focus in at the abdominals is actually a muscle group called as the transversus abdominis. So if you are performing Pilates well, you will be engaging the transversus abdominis. And what is transversus abdominis? Transversus abdominis is the deepest layer of muscles around your abdominal. Okay, so the transversus abdominis basically start from the back all the way to the front of your tummy. So it's like a girdle. It is like a corset wrapping from the back to the front. Oh, that is exactly the reason why bodybuilders or powerlifters they wear a belt around their waist is because the belt, the function of the belt, act as a thick transversus abdominis to hold their back and core strong. Therefore, you are actually not working on the rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis is what you call as the six-pack muscle. It is at, at the shape of a six-pack and is the outer layer of your abdominal muscles. So whenever you mention about six-packs, it's actually the outer layer of muscles. But actually in Pilates, you do not focus in the outer layer of abdominal muscles. Instead, you focus on the transversus, which is the deep muscles, which you can, which it can be seen outside. Okay, it can just cannot be seen. So therefore, if you want a six pack, you're basically going to the wrong place to get a six pack. If you have any questions related to Pilates, feel free to put down at the comment section below so that I can answer your questions. Uh, I might. Uh, do another video just for your questions, okay? So feel free to drop it down or you want to tell me how much you love me Feel free to do so Some of you want to do Pilates to lose weight But let me tell you this There is no way that you can lose weight doing Pilates Why? The reason is because Pilates is an exercise that is very very low in intensity therefore you do not burn much calorie while you are doing Pilates so you will not lose weight drastically you will not be able to lose weight in the long term in the long run okay some of you might say oh but I did Pilates and I lost weight yeah maybe because of course you can lose weight because before prior before you start your pilates you might be a person who are very sedentary a person who are sedentary no matter what exercise they do they will still lose weight even if you are sweeping the floor like all the time for six hours a day you will lose weight you don't have to go to do pilates to lose weight by sweeping the floor, you're able to lose weight too. There's a reason. But if you want to, what I want to tell you is, if you want to see good weight loss result, it is not by doing Pilates. If ever a Pilates instructor tell you that, call them a liar. If you are a person who is not able to focus or not able to listen to instruction or maybe you are a very impatient person then I suggest you not to do Pilates. Why? Because Pilates requires a lot of focus. You really need to slow down and listen to the instruction listen to your body 
and then you execute it. I've seen clients coming to me who are people who is very impatient. They want things fast. They want things to be intensive. Let me tell you this, you will not be able to do Pilates properly if you are rushing for it. Okay? If you're rushing for the exercises, you will not be able to feel those deep muscles. And especially if you're trying to uh, show off or trying to lift very heavy resistance when you're doing Pilates, you will not be able to get the benefits of Pilates. Pilates is all about how you're able to connect with your body how you are able to perform the exercises in a way that you can actually understand which muscle group you are actually working on and not just doing it. The reason why I do this video is because people do not understand every single exercise has their pros and have their cons. No one single exercise is suitable for everybody. Pilates might not be for you, okay? If it's not for you, choose something else and do something else. What I hate the most in the industry is a lot of Pilates instructors will tell you lies. A lot of the Pilates studios will promote you the wrong thing because they just want money from you. They will be telling you that by doing Pilates, you are able to lose weight, you are able to look toned, gain muscles, have six pack, so on and so forth. But unfortunately, that is not the truth. All right, you need to understand that, okay? And another thing is Pilates is seriously not a form of exercise that you come in and have fun and hoo-ha, 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 yay, left, right, left, right, I'm happy. It's not like that. If you want to learn Pilates, do it properly. If not, you're just wasting your time. It is better that you use your time and energy to do something else that can help you achieve your goal rather than doing Pilates. So anyway, this is the end of this video. If you want to know more about Pilates, do feel free to drop a comment down at the comment section below. I do offer one-to-one -one free consultation to um, everybody. So if you're interested to talk to me and ask me questions, feel free to do so. Of course, I also offer my own training, whether it's Pilates or personal training or even nutrition training but let's talk about that only after uh, our one-to-one -one free consultation all right so thank you everyone for watching this video please share this video out to all your friends and family if you think this video helps you okay make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button and i'll see you next week